we are paying off each other debt on TikTok. I don't know if you all saw the trend, but we are literally paying off each other's debt. And the way that we are doing that is everyone is posting a video. We are asking that you all engage, watch the video, comment, share, first 10, five, 10 seconds. That way everyone is eligible. If we all do this, can you imagine how easy it would be if all of us work together? Like it's a lot of not too much, not too little though. Uh, so, Loki, does, does black on black crime exist? Black on black crime? Mm -hmm. No. Does black on black crime exist? I mean, it's no wrong answer. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Huh? You don't know? Does black on black crime exist? Does black on black crime exist? Does black and white crime exist? Yes, in a way. Does white and white crime exist? No, sir. It doesn't exist. Does Asian and Asian crime exist? Huh? Why don't they say it? Because I don't see black and white crime. So, so why do you think it exists? Because it's not about the race. <laughs> Here's what I say. Here's why I say black on black crime doesn't exist because it was a narrative put on our people. So when a black person kills a Hispanic person, they don't say, oh, that's black on Hispanic crime. They just say it's just crime. If the cartel kills another cartel member, they don't say Mexican cartel. or Mexican crime, do they? They don't. But they say black on black crime. So what we have gotten to understand is that when a black person kills another black person, what do we see? Oh, that's black on black crime. It doesn't exist. Another one, right? Does the angry black woman exist? No, That's a narrative. Does, yes, does the, uh, does, can, so you mean to tell me there can't be an angry white woman? There can't be an angry Asian woman or a Hispanic woman, right? Right? They just don't give it a name. They don't give it a name, but you see that. That's why a lot of black men and black women don't get along because of narratives of grown out people. So when I say black on black crime doesn't exist, it's just, it's just crime. So the reason why I say it don't exist is because it's just crime. So when we say, no, so like when Russia invaded Ukraine, nobody said white on white crime. They also actually try to point to black people and say, oh, this is not a third world country. What do black people got to do, right? They even told us to go back to your own country. Well, we tried that in Ukraine and what? They wouldn't let us out. They let out white folks first. They went like this. So that's why I say black on black crime doesn't exist. And like I said, if you put me in the room, I'm gonna change the atmosphere. Because, you know, our people going against each other, like we think that we need a lot of time, and we really don't need a lot of time. You put me in a room, a whole incident can change just like that, just like when Jesus came on the scene, right? Look what happened, and he got crucified. We all aware. We all got a choice now, and we can make him our savior, and then we can be saved. So when I say it don't exist, it's because, like, we took the word nigger, and we took that word and made it nigga up, because we have been indoctrinated to take it. So we try to make it a, a better word instead of saying nigger, we say nigger. You know what I'm saying? Huh?